All right, so we made our <coughs> parts for our bee. Uh, we have our leg, our stinger, our wing, and our tongue. All right, so now we're gonna kind of put bones in this and add some weight maps so we can rig this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start out with this. So I hit A to frame it. This will be a leg, it doesn't look much like a leg, but again, we're keeping it simple, really basic stuff here. All right, so uh, a couple things. I might want a weight map uh, in case I need to uh, tell our bones that we're about to make not to affect everything, just affect the leg. To do that, uh, in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see W is selected. I will make new for weight map, and I'll call it leg, L-E-G, and I'll hit create. If you want to see the weight map, you can go to your perspective window and change texture wire here to weight shade, okay? So cool, that worked. So I'm in weight shade mode right now and I've made the basic leg. All right, that looks pretty good. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna do all my skeletons. Uh, in this program, they're called Skellygons, so we're gonna do these in Modeler. You don't have to do it in Modeler, but uh, for what we're gonna do, we, we will. So what we'll do here is this. Um, I'm gonna go on a new layer, nothing on it, and I'm gonna put my leg in the background, okay? It's just easier to work this way. Under the Setup tab, I'm gonna look on the left, and I'm gonna find the word Create Skellygons. So I'm gonna click on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a bone chain, uh, and then eventually I will cut these and put them inside of my actual leg. So I wanna start at the top, and I'm just gonna drag all the way through and make one long bone. Hit enter on my keyboard and it's done. So one bone's not gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna select that, and over in the toolbar, I'm gonna to hit split skeleton. So split, and there I'm gonna make two bones and I'm going to take this and I'm going to give this a little bit of pre-bend here. So really this is going to be so basic uh, but it's fine. Uh, I have basically a calf muscle and the thigh up top and just in case I guess I'll split this one more time to make another bone. Whoops, go to split and you're going to see when you hit split it splits the bones in half and move this kind of where I want it. Looks pretty good and then I'll have an extra bone up top just to kind of to work with a little bit later. So there we go, three bones. Remember with skeletons, they're just polygons for now. Uh, we'll convert them later. Um, but in order for a bone to work, you need to cut it and it needs to be inside. So control X, control V, inside, uh, inside of the mesh that you want it to deform. So weight map done, skeleton done, moving on. Next, we have the stinger. Uh, I might not want to do anything with it as far as bones, but just in case, I will say new. And oops, what I did here by accident is I have a couple windows open. Uh, my weight map is already open, so when I hit new, it just created the weight map of leg on that, and that's not what I wanted. So Control Z to undo. Name it what you want. I'm gonna call this one Sting, and hit Create. There we go, so our Stinger is done. Um, I'm gonna go New Layer, put Stinger in the background, set up Tab, create Skellygons. Again, start at the top, drag down, release the mouse. When you're in orange mode here, that's telling you you're still active. So remember, just hit enter on your keyboard. I'm gonna split this a couple times. So I'll select the skeleton and hit split, split. And they're all still selected. So I'll just cut them, come back to my stinger layer and hit paste. All right, done. So I'm gonna do this again, this time with the wing. So again, my weight map uh, window is open. So I can just type in wing Hit create, you'll see it turns orange, looks good. New layer in the background will be my wing. I'll go to the setup tab, create skeleton, and I'm gonna start again at the bottom where I want this to rotate from. So I'll click in the bottom this time and I'll drag all the way up and through the top of it and hit enter. So I have one long bone. If I want this to bend, I need to select that bone and split it. So select, split, split, split. So split it a few times, the number of splits is up to you, it's just it's what kind of deformation or articulation do you want your wing to have. And for me, that should be fine. So I'll cut it, I'll come back to my wing layer, and I will hit paste. All right, done. Last but not least, I have this tongue. So again, I will create a new weight map, I'll call it tongue, T-O-N-G-U-E. So tongue, create, looks good. And next, I will go create a skeleton. Tongue's in the background. I'll start at the back of the tongue, click a long bone, draw it right through, hit enter, zoom in a little bit so you can see this, 
and looks pretty good. I am going to move this uh, Skellygon just to make sure that it, it's pretty much centered, looks okay. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if the bones go outside of the mesh, you'll never see them. They're just used for deformation. Uh, I want to be able to bend my tongue, so I better add more bone. So I'll select that one bone, and I'll split, split, split. And there's a lot of bones there. I guess I don't need that many, but it's fine. These guys are really basic, so it won't matter. All right, there we go. I need to cut these, put them in the tongue, and S to save. All right, so everything's pretty much made here. Um, next, I gotta assemble some of this stuff. So we're gonna stop here and uh, I'll do another video to add some more weight maps and finish assembling this.